Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's Mark from PowerSonic and Apprentice One to One. In today's video, I am going to be looking through some new TIS equipment that I've got. Thought I'd share it with you guys on the channel. I know some of you have seen me using the old MFT Pro and the EV Test 100, and I've got the next model up now on the MFT, and I've also got an additional new product to market that I don't think any other manufacturers have currently got in their range. Um, I could be wrong on that, don't quote me, but I've not seen it anywhere. And um, yeah, I'll share that with you in the video now. This is just a quick overview of what's actually available. I'm going to show it on my channel in use um, in the next few videos, I guess, as the jobs crop up where they can be put to use. We'll share, we'll share that um, probably on my test board as well, maybe behind me, which Nathan's been fiddling around with. And also in the meter cabinet I've got in here as well, because we can demo some of the three phase stuff, which is quite exciting. Um, I don't think I've ever got around to showing you the power factor analysis um, tests that this can do, actually. So that's my bad. It's just finding time. I will try and do that. I've got access to the free phase, so, you know, we should probably do it. Uh, otherwise, let's jump straight onto the video. I'll show you the kit. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give a thumbs up, thumbs down if you're enjoying this type of content or not. As always, I'm trying to share a whole range of stuff from site work, messing around on this board behind me, and also running through some of the cool products that we buy in and put to use to... You know, if you get any benefit from it and think it's a decent thing, you might go off and have a little bit of a research yourself and maybe purchase the odd one or two things. Um, again, TIS, I'll tag them in the description um, of this video. And they've also got an awesome YouTube channel of their own where they showcase all these products in great depth. Um, so if you want any further information, go over there and check that out. And you're always welcome to ask me a question and I'll do my best to point you into the right place. Otherwise, let's get on with it. So this is the new TIS gear I've got. Um, it's the TIS MFT Pro Plus. Um, I've got it with the EV kit again, but this is the same EV adapter. So it's the TIS EV Test 100. But this time I've got it in um, the red colours as opposed to the older version over here, which is the orange one branded as HT. So that's nice. So I'm all team red now. A um, couple of key differences on this tester to the last one. You'll notice if you're familiar with the, the TIS menu system on the old MFT Pro, very, very similar. But if you scroll along, you'll notice this new box for earth resistance. And that is in conjunction with this kit that comes with a tester where you've got the earth spikes and your usual lead you'd find to go and measure RA values. I'm going to demo this in use on a video soon and um, we'll compare it to the mega values as well. A bit of an interesting comparison, I think. Also in the EVSE test, there is the 6 milliamp DC test that's been added in through software. If you've got the old MFT Pro, that can be done by TIS themselves to update it. So it will do that test on the older version as well. Um, generally, it looks pretty similar to the old MFT Pro. A few hardware and software improvements inside, I'm led to believe. Also, it comes with rechargeable batteries, um, which are different to the last set. So it doesn't have a, um, a DC adapter plug to charge it. It's got a little IEC lead that plugs into the charging um, dock and away it goes. Another good improvement that I like is with the, the lead here for the socket ZS measurements and your R1, R2s if you wish to use a lead like this. The older version was like a cable sock. In fact, I've got it just here. So you'll see side by side and a few people didn't like that. So um, TIS have made an upgrade, Listen to their customers and have gone for one of these. And um, yeah, nice quality. Also included with a kit, and this could have come in the last one and I never noticed to be fair, but there's um, an adapter there for zeroing off your, your three pin lead. So that's a nice added extra out of the box. Um, we'll put it to use on site. I'll show you how it all works. And we'll test it against the old MFT Pro, see if the values are different. I mean, you've got the usual suspects in here, so you can do your RCD loop impedance. Um, and you've got your volt drop and such. And, and with these, say you want to do a power quality analysis test and you're not sure how you actually connect the instrument up, if you press the help button down here, oh, hang on, I've gone into the wrong section, press the help button, you'll see here it gives you instructions as to how to attach your, your clamp and your leads so you can do that and it kind of walks you through the difference of single phase and free phase. Same again if you, I don't know, go into a continuity test and you want to know how the leads are attached. It shows you in there as well. Nice, helpful features. Sometimes we all have a bit of brain freeze, don't we, and need a reminder. Um, I've stood there before scratching my head, thinking, what the hell are we doing here today, lads? And um, yeah, this is helpful just to jog your memory of where the leads go in the test set and how you carry out the tests. And it does it for every single one. So, I mean, you, you can go into your RCD testing. Whoops, daisy. 
um, and it'll show you in there what you need to be doing. I mean, a lot of this is pretty straightforward, but some of it is very, very useful. Um, say you want to do the, I've shown you the power quality analysis, haven't I? The vault drop, for example. Not something we're used to recording because it's not something I don't believe other instruments can do on the MFT range. And you'll see here it tells you how to do that um, step by step, what you need to connect where. And again, with the EV charging, I've showed you this before, um, you can press the help button and it'll give you instruction. And this pops up as you run through the EV testing anyway, and the other ones don't, you have to actually press the help button. And again, you've got your settings where you can adjust your earthing arrangements and supply characteristics. Um, you can set the date and user details. So there's lots of features in there um, that are going to help us as installers to get the right information in the test set from the time and date all the way to what um, actual preset values we want to record. This is an exciting one. So this is the TIS 570 and it's an AC-DC leakage clamp. Uh, you'll see there it's got the DC scale and the AC scale on the test instrument and it does that for voltage and current. You'll see there you can min and max it. You can also use it as a, a continuity meter and you know a digital multimeter of sorts. If I turn it on we can have a little look. So you can see there that's popped up and there's leads that come with this in this nice little case, a backlit display as well for when you're in those dark cupboards. This is just traditional uh, AAA battery power. And we've got the box in here, you can see the lead set that comes with it and jiggle them out. So you've got a good quality set of leads with the removable tips there. Very, very useful. And again, this is going to be coming in really handy with the old um, EV and solar works you might find yourself on and just wanting to know what the DC leakage on an installation is because we have these debates around um, your AC RCDs and type A's and if we need to be fitting other types as well so this will give you an actual indication of what's going on on the install and I'll get some videos of this in use I can test it actually in my unit if I can be bothered to move all of this stuff I've piled up against the meter cabinet door um, that might be for another day because I'm a bit busy today. <laughs> I will get to that, so I'll demo this out on site and I'll show it here on the test board as well. Nathan's been busy rebuilding this, so um, he stripped it all out, he's rewired it again, um, and he's been going through some testing on that board as part of his apprenticeship, so that's that's good of him to be keen enough to get on with that. And uh, yeah, I just thought on this video we'd drop in, show a bit of the TIS goodness that I have, um, I have got, and um, as always, I'll show it out on videos in use, and we can see the key differences while we're out on site work into the older version and also demonstrate the new features it's got with the RA testing and with this um, little ACDC leakage clamp. So I hope you found that useful. Um, if you've got any questions drop them in the comments I'll try and answer. TIS have their own YouTube channel I'll tag that on this video and you can go off and check them out. Also, um, the website as well, I'll put in the description to the video. So please, if you've got any questions, the, the guys over there, guys and girls, are really, really helpful, properly there to support the contractors. Um, and I can fully recommend them. You know, value for money. I've said this lots. I don't think anyone's even close. Um, you know, it's, it's a brilliant kit that they've got that does so much beyond the traditional MFT. Um, and the price point is, at, is um, unrivaled. It's just my opinion. But yeah, go and check them out. Thank you for watching.